Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I have been doing text because I have not been able to record anything. I uh, have not been... Crazy energy. Uh, Starting off with... Well, I finally left that toxic group chat that I was forcefully added to, uh, said my peas, uh, lawn, meds, uh, then left. So, yeah, after I left, what did I notice? The toxic energy just poof, gone. And my aura was starting to come back to normal. It took about a day or two, so that's good normal uh but then then uh three nights ago something happened don't know what but apparently other people have been feeling this so i will cut to that uh energy update that moment when you are trying to sleep but you have so much energy inside you full of what feels like excitement at the same time I just began to start writing a new uh, blog post. I got three pages done before the trance ended. Apparently this weighed heavily on my mind as I tried to fall asleep. Then so much energy I felt inside me. I tossed and turned, trying to sleep. I barely slept at all. This happened two nights ago. For two nights, this energy and excitement made it hard to fall asleep. Luckily, this last night wasn't too bad and I stayed asleep. However, three nights ago, I felt like an energy was trying to get at me, to attack me, make itself known, I don't really know. That's when, uh, this is when you are startled, but you honestly have no idea why. I felt that three nights ago. Then the night after that was when the full of energy and excitement happened. Then last night there was no feeling and energy trying to get to me. So basically there was an energy. I was startled. I could not fall asleep. Except I finally did, but it like, okay, something's there. I don't know what. I can't see it, but I know something is there. Something is wrong. And you open your eyes and look around. No one's there. Everything's normal. But you can feel something. And that happened three nights ago. Um... Uh, but I did fall asleep easily that night. However, that jerk uh, came up. And then the night after that was when I started to... I was writing. I was in a trance. I was writing. I got like three pages done. But again, I'm dealing with Instagram size. So that would have been either one page or two pages in my GIMP. So, yeah, tra trans uh, faded, and then I, my mind was just going through uh, what you normally do when you're trying to fall asleep. Your, your mind, like, runs down what happened or what is what are you thinking about or whatever uh, it may be. But apparently that was the way in me... Uh, heavily on the back of my mind and then it was like you, you know the feeling when you're like 
you're like half asleep, but you're not. So I was like, okay, I thought I fell asleep, but then something like jolted me out of this, out of my sleep. And ever since then, I like could not fall asleep. And then so much energy was like there. And then excitement was there as well. So it was a combo. And I just kept tossing and turning all night long. And I think I only got like two hours of sleep before I'm like, great, it's, I need to get up. I can't. And yeah, that day, mm, I don't know what happened. And then last night, I felt the same thing, except there was no trance. And I felt energy pouring into me, but somehow I managed to fall into a trance and your body like gets heavy. So I had that heavy feeling like when you're in a normal trance. However, after that is when I did uh, fall asleep. And right now, again, I'm starting to feel that energy, heightened excitement thing. Uh, but I am a little off, uh, jittery. That's the word. Jittery. Uh, don't really know why. Um, uh, so there's that part. All, the, all, all that's the, um, so here's the, the blog that I was writing. Okay, I'm going to read the first three parts, uh, pages before so this would make sense uh page one i was in hell for so long i was in the shadow of my own soul in my a nightmare i could not wake from i was screaming at the walls but alas no one could heal me soon i grew numb to all just going through the motions, I keep shedding my skin as I slowly rose out of that dark pit. That was page one. Page two. My tears run cold as ice. Why was I weeping? I cannot recall. I cannot feel my light except in flashes. Won't someone remind me of my light? Help me rekindle before I... And that's when the risen kind of started to fade away. So I just wrote, left that in with uh, three dots. Like, what was I going to say next? I don't know. I voice trailed off. Then it came back with... I'm my own savior. So that was part page two. Page three. I am so tired, so very tired. I don't want to be utterly alone anymore. Talk with me instead of at me. Listen when I need you. Respond relate. Oh, speak to me. Oh, speak to me. Listen with your heart. The light is my friend. The moon is my friend. So is the trees and the angels and the gods of old. For I stand with the light, divine and pure. Oh, listen to my soul, feel my soul, for I am but alone and free. Stay with me and listen to the flaps of my wings. And that was before. Okay, that was page three. End. 
the vision soon faded. Then the excitement and full of energy hit me before I could fall asleep and then toss and turned all night long and I did manage to fall asleep two times however I like almost instantly woke up like right after I fell asleep so that that has not happened in like I'm gonna say more than a year it's been a very long time when I slept like that So the next morning, I went back to try to finish the blog post, which I have done. So this is continuing the blog post with page 4, but it's a different feeling, vibration, because at this time, I was not in the same trends, so the, it's going to be different. Uh, so, page 4. I have been reborn many times. I am like a phoenix. This hell can try to tell me apart, make me forget my light, make me feel like I'm worthless and all of this self-doubt. I never lost the light within me. Sometimes you just need a reminder to feel again, to feel the light and warmth, to know you are special and worthy of your light and gifts. And that was page 4. Page 5. I grew in the depths of darkness. I rose out with glowing wings. My eyes are flaming light. Demons feel me, for they could not break me. I have been flying alone for too long. My own mind now tries to break me, but wait, that is what the demons want. See my light, know my strength, know my heart, know my soul. I am better than the darkness. You can try to break me, my light always returns as I am reborn again. Okay, so I only added two pages for that. Uh, the, the last two pages is again a different theme, if you will. Because at that time I just... It was not the same trance, therefore a different voice, if you will. Because again, a different vibration um so that's kind of like part uh three the the three pages before the excitement then it kind of just ran in my head and then the when i woke up the the two pages later came up. So it was like, again, Dark Knight of the Soul. So it's like, uh, you're looking back at your past and then the words come out and then you constantly think on it, but you're like, but wait, I already let go of that. What is this trying to teach me? Uh, you sleep on it, and then, then 
the rest of it comes out like, but wait, I did let go of the past and the words just came out. So, so it's like, um, you know, you, you're going through, uh, whatever it is, you're being told, um, harsh things. You're forced to believe that you're broken, uh, but in reality, everything around you and everyone around you is. So basically, you were around assholes the whole time and you thought you were the mistake, but in reality, you weren't. So the, the demons in this world tried to break you by breaking your mind, in a sense. So you had to find your voice. Pick out the toxic people and find your true self. However you do that, but you have to kick out the bad people, the toxic people. For me, I, I've done that, okay? I've, I've done that. Here's, here's the thing. So I had no religion at this time, and I was like, maybe I should go find one. So, for whatever reason, I went into the left path, and turns out that was a mistake, but it, it jumped, started the Kundalina Serpent. Then I found that, okay, I don't need to go left, and I don't need to go right, I just need to stay true to the spirit path. Uh, what that means is, well for me, it just means the light. You go with the flow, you don't force anything, you don't force your beliefs on to anyone, you just spat out your truth to whoever listens, and if they align, they align, and if they don't, you don't beat them over the head with it. So you create your own tribe, in a sense. You do that. Or you go find people that is like-minded, uh, if you can. For me, I have not been able to find other like-minded people, if I do, they quickly exit my life. They just pass through. Um, so I've been through breaking points, but who hasn't? Um, and I speak my truth no matter what. Even if people say I'm on drugs. <laughs> But again, that was just a bad audio edit on my part. Uh, so basically, I was harassed, bullied uh, throughout my life. Who hasn't? Because on this, there's the thing with that. If you are bullied or harassed, basically it's the same thing. Why are the demons attacking you? That's the thing, they are afraid of our light, our hidden knowledge, our hidden potential. They seek to destroy us before we find our true voice, our true power, and prevent us from finding it. Or so they think. I need to get closer. So, as I, I said, 
the demons fear us for our hidden soul knowledge, whatever that is. The demons fear us. They come after us at a young age to destroy us, to break us. I've been there. And for that guy to say, oh, you're insane, there is no such thing as demons or darkness or evil, he is full of crap because I've been there. I, I know what demons do. To, for him to say otherwise is us, I won't trust you because you're full of crap. And I don't trust anyone who doesn't acknowledge the darkness, the dark night of the soul, shadow work. Anyone who denies that is, in my book, a demon. Spread in false light, false whatever. Again, just another demon trying to trick me away from what I already know is true. So, yes, demons will attack us for our hidden knowledge uh, before we realize it, that it's there. For me, I had to go through darkness, being in the wrong crowd. There's a thing, when I, okay, so I had no religion, right? I went, found one, people started to approach me, talking to me. Before this, no one was. I was invisible. Until I started to be a demon. Then people started to talk to me, to notice I existed. But again, that kick-started the Kundalina Serpent to know certain terms like Aura, Chakra, Third Eye. It all came from my beginning. So I landed in this one religion for a bit, about a, maybe, I don't even know how long before I went to another branch of it and tried that one, didn't work. Went to another branch, didn't work. But during that time, people was approaching me. I ran or tried to run a Facebook group with someone I ran into until he went completely crazy saying he was now Moses. And before that, he was saying he was someone else. Turns out he was just insane. Um, and before... Well, that was one dude, but then someone else tried to work with the group as well for, for a while, except... And he had like two accounts, but apparently got hacked and never spoke to him again. Uh, so, yeah, I had like a 300 members, I think. Try to run a Facebook page, same topic. It kind of did well. But again, it people were approaching me. When I quit being the darkness, the demon, or tried to be that, a 3D person, what happened? Everyone stopped approaching me. I go into these new Facebook groups about 5D, friendship groups, uh, oh, let's start a, a friendship circle with Tell us your birthday and whoever vibes with it will add you as a friend. Or, if I like your name, I will add you. Some nonsense like that. Well, I did comment on those. What happened? People ignored me, while other people 
got it on. Me, I was ignored. Like, why? Why am I being ignored? Oh, that's right, I'm not a 3D sheep person. That's why. I'm on 5D and... No one can relate to me. I'm now invisible. Except on Instagram if I use my hashtags. Uh, but again... Makes you wonder... Does this have any point of... Uh, when you stop being into the darkness, being a 3D person, people will just fade, stay away from you. Will you find new people? Maybe. But for a person like myself, highly not likely because it's been... quite a long time, actually. Um, About... Huh, seven years? That, that sounds... Mm, well, six or seven, actually. And what has happened during that time? Well, other than me changing from darkness to light, and being approached to now... No one is approaching, so what does that what does that leave me? On the right path because I don't do fake. Um Meaning whoever is toxic, I get rid of them and you know, ever is fake, I get rid of as well. Um, trying to think, what what else could I say? Uh, to be in your real, authentic self is to finally be free of everyone. I Yes, um, since I've done that, and I've noticed now no one approaches me. So... That must mean I'm at a higher level than everyone around me, therefore... No one will try to approach me because they can't understand or they know I don't do 3D and I don't do fake. Yeah, I'm kind of clueless on how to explain that because it, well, it, uh, it's not good when you're dealing with isolation. Um, well, I mean, well, t two sides. One side, you're not dealing with fakes, but on the other hand, you're not talking with anyone who can relate, who is into what you're sharing. So... Cabin fever. Uh, it's, it's it's very hard for a, a spirit blogger to get tracks it, to get tracks in, um, especially when they're not paying for advertisement. Yep. But then again, as I said, uh, I don't do three D, therefore no one approaches me. And if they do, they silently stalk me. Huh. Like I said, two sides. One side, no more fakes. On the other hand, you're not talking to people who you can talk to about this stuff. 
So it's hard either way, but I guess that's why I do these videos. So I I don't feel that like burden uh, in a sense. Um, well, that just makes uh, kind of makes no sense. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how to uh, explain that. Um, well, one topic, uh, subject comes to mind. Old soul. I'm going to leave it on that. As for the energy update it's i'm still jittery um as i said this video has been very off but uh what can i do it's it is what it is but uh it's probably because i haven't recorded in like a week that doesn't help uh, but this whole thing needed to be said even the third part of this video if you can even count that as the whole other video eh, I'm not gonna split it until we meet again